give up. Therefore, whenever we have the opportunity, we should do good to everyone. Especially to those in the family of faith. So this is the place where you can practice yourself. Too good all things unto others. <coughs> Who said that? Jesus Christ, the book of Matthew chapter 5. This is the rule of God, golden rule. To do good things. But Paul's teaching is here to those in the family of faith. So within the church, you need to practice and exercise <coughs> to share the burden. That's why we need to pray. In the church, God, what is going on in our church right now? I need to know. I know some of them in pain right now, but what kind of pain they're going through? Holy Spirit teaching. In the way we can pray. If it's a lack of materials, we can help. Lack of spirituality, we can pray. That's what we can do it within the church. See, if you don't practice enough within the church, within the family of faith, how can you do outside in the world? That's why this is the place where we can practice and exercise. We can experience God is a living God. We can experience each other. The Holy Spirit is working within our body's life. In the way we can go out, it doesn't matter where, wherever we go. We are already experienced. Holy Spirit is within us. Holy Spirit is working within our lives. So I don't doubt. I believe that Holy Spirit is working with other people's life as well. So we have more confidence and trust in the way we can pray. So we need to think about ourselves. I'm a legalist. Or I'm a spirit-led believer. It's a very important issue. He is questioning this church. <coughs> you know, questions should be like that. Whom can I be a neighbor? Before we ask, who is our neighbor? All those people, no good, no good. They don't go to heaven. It's okay. No, if you are a spirit led believers, we should ask, to whom can I be a neighbor? Anyone. Because God says, I want all men and women to be saved. That's His desire. That's why God gave us a faith to pray and to live according to His word. That's the only way we can imagine. So, so you learn from the Bible and you can go out and, hey, believe in Jesus. Otherwise, you go to that nice place. We cannot say that. We have to live out what God says in the Bible. And then share the burdens together. Because, tell you again, we are in one spirit, one faith and one God. If you and I are believers, for sure that I'm going to meet you again. You and I are mad, it's not an accident here. Because you and I have what? Eternal life. So we need to pray. 
am I a legalist or am I a spirit led? Brothers and sisters, let's pray. Father God, we just thank you again.